Are you tired of watching Nila and Mordekaiser destroy a board by stacking rapid fire cannons? It is a bit unfortunate that players figured out stacking this item is making units deal more damage than intended, but this bug should be fixed very soon. But before the curtain closes on rapid fire cannon, I have an amazing comp for you that you should definitely try at least once before the next patch arrives. The Bilgewater Cannon. Every said one enjoyer has fond memories of Graves, who was one of the coolest units that ever existed in TFT. Back then he had a pretty fun build with rapid fire cannon, so it was only natural to try the same in set 9.5. What I didn't expect was that this comp is absolutely <laughs> killing it. You could make the argument that it only works because of RFC stacking and that might be true, but I will definitely continue to play this because this comp is simply too much fun. The core setup is very simple. You open with the Twisted Fate Legend for the Pandora's Items Augment. You roll all of your components into bows so you can build three rapid fire cannons on graves. As for units, you are mainly interested in rolling for graves and the Lowry 3 star. Once you have both of them, you can push for levels. In the late game, you want to run Taric for Targon Bastion and have at least four gunners on your board. Beyond this, you can be flexible. You can add more gunners, Bastion, Rogue, Targon or Bilgewater. The decision is up to you. From what I've tested, the Lowry 3 star is absolutely necessary for this comp to work. She is great with the usual tank items, but I want to specifically mention Protector's Vow. This item grants 45 mana, which makes her ult at the start of the fight. For the next 5 seconds, she will heal off the damage that her target takes. Thanks to Graves dealing massive amounts of damage and Targon amplifying the healing, Ilaoi straight up becomes one of the best frontliners in the game. Outside of your tank items, you also want to run one even shroud on Taric to shred the enemy frontline at the start of combat. As for augments, any Anything that adds to the gunner trait is amazing, because it allows you to reach 4 gunner early and also opens up 6 gunner as a potential win condition. You shouldn't skip out on combat augments either. I liked anything that added some sustain, since I tend to run Targon anyways. If you want, you can also take the support item from Twisted Fate in stage 4-2 and reroll the item until you get a Zika, or 2, or 3. Gunners after all are a big fan of the bonus attack speed, because it allows them to gain a lot of AD quickly into the fight. I don't know how this comp will develop over the course of the PBE, but so far I had an absolute blast playing it. It would be awesome if Graves reroll remains a viable comp, even if his items and setup might slightly change over time. I hope you learned something and see you next time. This was life. Can he do it? I think he can, right? Uh... That's a 20k. <laughs>